Dear colleagues, in this video, I am going to show Rexis and Nucleus Management in two non-intumescent white cataracts. This is the first case. In this case, I have done main incision and on paracentesis incision on the left side of the main incision. Now, Capsulorexis is being done. A capsular tag has been raised by a 26 case bent needle. Now I hold this tag with a uterator forceps. I go anticlockwise and I try to be at equal distance from the margin of the dilated pupil and thus I get a reasonably good rexis. And now you can see that this cataract is not very soft. It is it is grade 3 plus or grade 4. Let us say it is grade 3 plus. Now, in this case, I am going to do direct chop. HPMC has been injected into the anterior chamber. And now, I am going to use Oatly Catrix 3 machine in this case. It has got easy tip. Here it is. Now what I do is I start go impale the nucleus with the phaco teeth and go almost near the other equator and then I try to separate the nucleus into two halves. I have rotated it about 180 degree. Now I am going to separate this. Yes, I have been able to separate the nucleus into two halves and each hemineucleus is again chopped and it is emulsified and remo removed. Faco power used in this case was 70%, flow rate was 45 ml per minute and vacuum was 450 millimeter of mercury. And this is the other hemineucleus. It is again chopped and it is emulsified and removed. See, there is hardly any cortical matter in this case. The cortex, epinucleus, everything has been incorporated into the nuclear mass. And I have removed the chopper so that leakage from the side port stops and that's it. The nucleus has been managed nicely. This is the second case. The capsule has been stained. In this case, I have made two side ports. Now, the capsule is being incised with the same 26 case vein needle. And now, I am going to take a uterator forceps. Here it is. This capsular tag is healed with the uterator forceps. This is a non intumescent cataract, and in such cataracts, I can do an adequate sized rexis at the first attempt. What I mean is, I don't do two stress rexis in such cases. Now, hydrodissection is done a little bit of hydrodissection and nucleus is depressed a bit and now I try to rotate the nucleus. After injecting some viscoelastic substance, okay, in this case I didn't try to rotate the nucleus. Now here it is. See, how is the cataract? This cataract is harder than the previous cataract. So, it is likely to be a grade 4 nuclear sclerosis. Here it is. I try to chop the nucleus, but the fibers are leathery and there is a posterior plate uh, which resists this direct chop I 
however i am making the initial partial jobs now what i do is i go here sculpt div at the center and now i try to separate the nucleus into two halves and i have become successful in that once the nucleus is divided into two halves we have almost conquered the hard cataract the FECO power used in this case is 75 percent flow rate is same 45 ml per minute and vacuum is same 450 millimeter of mercury this is the other hemineucleus it has been flipped and it is being emulsified and taken out i have removed the chopper leakage from the side port stops the chamber becomes deeper the posterior capsule goes backward and this is the thin plate of epinucleus it comes out thank you very much for watching hope this video will help you in your practice thank you once again